Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I just, I had a different topic in mind for tonight, but I had to come on and talk about some of the crazy stuff I've heard recently from women. Now these are absolutely true things. I get messages from women literally all over the world every day. They find me through YouTube. My YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy. Um, they listen to my podcast, which is the Female Health Solution. They see me on Facebook or somebody shared a video or, or something from Instagram or whatever it is, right? However, info gets passed. And part of me is so grateful that women are really doing research now. We're really learning more about our bodies and our health and, and, and how we really want to feel in our own skin and realizing that oh, I may have been misled a little bit or, um, yeah, I realized that this thing I did before, I thought it was normal, and this is definitely not normal. Hi, Jessica. Uh, you know, realizing all these things. Mm, now, now that we're on the other side of it, hindsight, there is always 2020, right? Yes. So sometimes I get messages from women, and they literally list out all these things, and they're like, can you even help me? Can you even help me? Because they feel so lost. They feel so far gone or that they've tried so many things and they're not sure, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got all this advice in my 20s. So for those of you that are wondering, yes, I work with women with all sorts of health backgrounds, histories, issues, problems, all that stuff. If I cannot help you, I will tell you that. That is one of the things that I am 100% on. But if you want more information, if you're curious about the 12-week challenge, Right there in the comments is the link. The registration opens on Friday. I can only take so many women. Um, you do not want to miss out on learning about your body, physiology, hormones. There's so much more that we go into. So much more that we go into. <clears throat> we do weekly calls, which are on Wednesday night. So I just got done with uh, calls. Sometimes it's a little bit more than everybody bargained for. <laughs> All good stuff, though. Moving you forward in your own health. But... I want, I'm doing this video because I want you guys to realize and I want you to share this with anybody that you know that has been through this or struggled with this. Just to have you realize you are not alone. It is not just you. It is not just, you know, whatever. You're not crazy. <laughs> we'll get there. And that a lot of these recommendations are, there's either no studies or like, whose idea was this? <laughs> And when you think about it, how is it, you know, how is it that this is the thing for women's health, right? Yeah. <laughs> I literally need you to live with me. I can come live with you. I eat a lot of protein. <laughs> I'm pretty big. I'm, I'm 6'2". I'm pretty, I got a long wingspan, you know, right? I take up a lot of space. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, back to the list of things. I'm going to start doing this a little bit more, sharing more, um, you know, about some cases, uh, health, you know, uh, information about women that um, I work with. Because a lot of women just don't realize. Uh, <laughs> I can bring the puppy. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. He, oh, I'll post it later um, if I remember. He found a, a plastic tub that was a potted plant ripping around in the yard best time ever we have all these like cutesy little toys didn't care about them didn't care <laughs> little murray little murbutt that's what i call him murbutt i call him spot sometimes too <laughs> we're, we're, i'm working on it i'm working on it okay <clears throat> crazy hormone things now this is these are legit things that i've heard just in the past week and so if you, if you, if this is helpful for you, if you want more info like this, if you want me to share more, um, I want to say real life situations from women, let me know. And I can, I can do that a lot more because I feel like a lot of women, when I talk to them, they're like, I feel like this is just me or I don't know. I'm like, it's not you. I've heard this from so many people this week. <clears throat> so many people this week, <sighs> crazy hormone thing. So being on birth control for 20 years, why, why? Now, this can go across the board. Being on birth control for really long periods of time, 10 years, 12 years, 15 years, 20 years, sometimes it's the same birth control, just never coming off of it. Oh, just stay on that birth control. You're done with kids. Oh, just stay on it. Just stay on it forever until you get past menopause. That's fine. Is it? Because birth control depletes you. 
It literally depletes your body of nutrients. It diminishes your testosterone levels, which are important. It messes up your hormonal function in your body. Why, why, why? Right? Why? Ugh. Like, is there any other, you know, searching behind why that would be, right? Oh, you're, you're 12 years old or you're 14 and your period's irregular? Let's just get you on some birth control. Of course your period's irregular. You're 14. Your body's not even done growing yet. It can take four, six years sometimes for your body to figure it out and naturally regulate your cycle. Think about teenagers. Of course their cycles aren't regular. Their nutrition sometimes isn't the best. Their sleep patterns aren't always the best. The stress that they're under and the fact that their bodies and brains are still growing. Yeah. Duh, they're, they're gonna have irregular cycles, of course. Oh, you were on birth control for a really long time. Oh, uh-huh, we're gonna switch it up. Oh, this other pill we switched it to, you had a lot of anxiety? Hmm, that's weird, that's something wrong with you. Well, I guess we'll just switch you off of it, not realizing, okay, what other hormonal things are you doing that's causing that, right? The list for this of being on birth control for long periods of time, I have heard it across the board. Women being on birth control for long periods of time, and then all of a sudden them getting like, two, three periods a month, they're still on the pill. Women being on different types of birth control and they come off of it and then they don't have a period. Oh, you don't have a period? Oh, that's fine. It's fine. No big deal. We're not worried about it. Huh? I don't know. Well, I'll come back in a year. Oh, you don't have a period. You're fine. You're not trying to get pregnant, so we're not worried about it. Like all your body is, you know, well, it's only important that it's regulated only if you're trying to have a baby. Beyond that, doesn't matter. Uh, I think your health is more important than just like you being a baby factory. Ugh. So just some of my feelings on it, right? Oh, you, you were really restricted on your diet. Oh, you did a bikini competition and you lost your period. And even though you gained weight back, even though you, you know, raised your body fat percentage from like 13 to 18%, you still didn't get your period back. Ah, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. You look healthy enough. See you later. So that's not, nor no, 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 mm -mm. Mm -mm. that's not normal and definitely something to work on, right? I hated being on birth control. Yeah, there's a lot of side effects birth control patch. I can't even tell you what the different types of birth control. And if that's something you guys want me to do a video on, I absolutely can. Talking about some of the side effects, talking about some of the other things that can happen for women on different types of birth control. And, and, and every body is different and how your liver processes through things, how your system works through it is different. That's why it's so different person to person. You are your own individual biome, right? And that's why it is so drastically different one person to the other. Something that might work for you is not gonna work for somebody else and vice versa. And then everything comes with side effects and you just have to figure out if that's what you wanna put up with. And I gotta be honest, I was on birth control myself for a decade, almost. And I never once had anybody talk to me about all the negative side effects that came along with it. They just said, oh, do you think you're developing any blood clots? Any cramps in your calves? I said, no. They said, okay, here. Here's your next three months supply. See you later. Have a great day. <laughs> I'm in Minnesota. That's how we talk here. I'm not making fun of anyone. This is how it is here. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Beyond the pill. Amazing book. Amazing book. Absolutely. Mm hmm. There's other, I mean, my sister even, I, I was telling somebody this today, having an IUD. Yeah, it can uh, perforate your uterus and work its way through, and then you have to have surgery to get it taken out of your abdominal cavity. Mm -hmm, that's the thing. There's side effects, there's risks, there's other things that happen in your system, no matter what you do. And sometimes it might be you know, important for a, a certain time frame of your life, okay, right? But I didn't even realize that would have a, a long-term systemic effect on my system. I would, I would have made different choices. I would have had I known what I know now, right? So important that we realize these things. <laughs> hot flashes. Oh, that's normal. Oh, you're having hot flashes, that's normal. Okay, well, I'm 32, Ooh, and, I'm having, and I'm not in, you know, 
menopause or anything, but I'm having all these hot flashes. That's still normal. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. Waking up every night completely drenched. Yep. Or saying, you know, I went through menopause seven years ago. I haven't had a period in seven years. I'm still having hot flashes. Oh yeah, that's normal. It's not normal. Oh, fatigue, you're exhausted. Oh, it's because you're just overweight. The fatigue is from the fat. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you just lose the weight, you're not gonna be as tired. Uh-huh, just get to the gym. Start working out more, eating less, you know, that's gonna do it. But you're so exhausted that you can barely get out of bed in the morning. You feel like a zombie. Coffee is the only thing that's keeping you functioning throughout the day. And if you do try and work out, you get so depleted and wiped out that you're sore for five days. That's not normal. Uh-huh. Jessica waking up drenched sounds familiar. Yeah, right? Yeah. This is a cycle that women get caught in a lot. The fatigue is from the fat. That is not true. The fat comes on because of the fatigue. So you have to deal with the fatigue. You have to work with how your body's functioning, right? I mean, you know, I talk about a lot of this stuff in my book, The Female Fat Solution, uh, and this is on Amazon. And for women who are in menopause, I have the female menopause solution that's on Amazon as well. And the menopause book really targets women in menopause because your fatigue, your fat storage, everything else is different. Coffee e shot. So tired. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. Yes. Pam, I'm doing the 12 week challenge right now. I recommend this to all the ladies watching. It will change your life. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. They, I mean, for, it's amazing for you saying that. Thank you. Yes. I am always confidential about people, like who they are, unless they're okay with me sharing, but otherwise I will talk about things and you won't know who they are. I mean, I do, I work with people behind the scenes. You know, I work with people who are, I don't want to say celebrities necessarily, but public figures, um, you know, professional athletes, other people like that. And I don't speak a word of who they are but I help them with things like this. They struggle with the exact same things that you do because you can guarantee that some of these athletes, some of these high performing women, right? Some of these women that, that have huge public followings, <laughs> they've been told the same crap information about their health that you have. And they're struggling with the exact same thing. Yeah. I don't know if that's comforting or not to know, but you're definitely not alone in this, but the fatigue is from the fat. That's the biggest <laughs> lie. Hormone issues. You're crazy. Oh my gosh. Now this one almost makes me like more angry than anything else. I can't tell you how many women I talk to <clears throat> that will go in and say something's wrong. Can I get a thyroid test? Can I get this test? I feel like, you know, it might be my thyroid. It might be my, th I, you know, I've, I've gained this weight or I'm not feeling well or my hormones are this or that. I'm just, my brain fog. You know, it sounds like thyroid or it sounds like, you know, adrenal fatigue or maybe, I, I don't know, right? You're searching. And then they do a test and the blood work comes back normal. Hmm, maybe it's time for you to get a psych evaluation. Mm -hmm. I had a gal that I worked with, she went in it was less than a handful of times to a practitioner, somebody that she had worked with and, and liked. And I don't know if this practitioner was just having a day or what, but she was told that you better check into a psych ward. That's where you're at. There's nothing wrong with you. And we went ahead and did Dutch testing. We did some more different types of tests, right? And found out that her adrenals really were not functioning because they didn't test that there. They didn't test that there, right? I, I, I get women that will, they'll, they'll send me their lab results, right? When we start working together and they have blood work done, it's like, you send me your results, right? So I went over, this just happened this week. I went over this gal's results and she was like, oh, I sent you my labs, da, da, da. We were going over it. I was like, so this is just a basic CBC. This is just a basic blood count. There's like, you know, she's like, yeah, they said it was normal. I was like, yeah, you have normal white blood count. You have a normal red blood count. Your iron is fine. Great. That doesn't tell me anything about your hormones. None of that was tested. <laughs> Let's start there. If we don't test the right thing, we can't get you in the right direction. If we don't look at the right stuff, we can't get you in the right direction. Oftentimes when you're going to somebody, some type of practitioner, they only have this many tools in their toolbox, right? They only have certain things. So, so how do you like, if, if they, okay, here's your tools, right? It's like, it's like hiring a carpenter 
to build an addition on your house. You want to put a sun porch on. And you're like, great, this guy's going to come. Oh, I've heard he's really nice. And he cleans up after himself. He's going to be great. And he shows up and he's got like a tiny kid hammer. You're like, that's, that's what you got, buddy? No saw, no nails, no nothing. You're just going to like craft it out of your bare hands and this tiny hammer. Okay. That's what it can feel like sometimes when you're trying to work with somebody that doesn't have as many tools. You have to find the right thing for you and really do your due diligence of research and really advocating for your own health. And oftentimes it just comes with finding out more information. I have women contact me that do consults with me that literally just want to know more of like different avenues, right? Sometimes that's the right move because you are the one living in your body. You are the one that knows when things are off. You are the one. No one else can experience that for you. And to, for, and this is something we cover in the 12 week when we go through some of this other coaching stuff. This is what I was referencing earlier. Some of the stuff that actually creates more of a brain body, a mind body disconnection is for somebody to tell you that you are wrong for how you feel in your own body. That makes you not trust yourself. That makes you not trust your own reactions. That leads to more health problems, by the way. So as you go through this, as you uncover these things, as you start diving in and really realizing how your body works, functions, everything, it is not just about eat clean, eat these things. And I know I talk about that and that stuff is important, absolutely. But even more so is realizing these things that I've been experiencing, they're real. These things, it's not just because I'm lazy. I am literally that exhausted. My brain isn't functioning like it used to two years ago. Why isn't it happening? Why isn't it clicking? It's not my motivation. No, you're, you have too much inflammation. I'm spinning. I'm so, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like, it's too much inflammation that's gunking up how everything works. That's why it's not working for you. It's not in your head, right? These are things to work through and change. And again, if this is something where you're like, oh my gosh, yes, I need to dive in. I need to get going on this. Right there in the comments, get on the wait list. That way you can get the link to register for the 12 week challenge. Registration opens on Friday. We start October 5th. So between now and then we work on getting things primed, ready, getting you set up for success. Because taking you through this is gonna be setting things in a different direction. If you keep repeating things over and over and over again, you're never going to get a different result with yourself. But by learning new information, by applying different things in your life and in your health, you're going to shift that needle and start taking off. And that's going to lead you to a place that you never had an opportunity to go in before. I love doing this work. I love shifting and changing this for women because there's nothing else like it. So let me know what questions you guys have. There's some comments. I'm going to go back through and read them. Do, 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 yeah, I have both books. Yes. Yeah. Pam. Pam's amazing. That's so sweet. My mom used to say, if you, my mom used to say, lose weight if you are hot. <laughs> oh, mom say the funniest thing. Uh-huh. Do you teach a course for DCs? Brittany, that's a great question. I do. Mm -hmm. I do. I do. I'm actually adding some things to it right now. Um, but if you want, you can send me a message or I'll reach out to you because that's going to be something I'm going to be talking about a little bit more in the next month or so. Mm -hmm. Because again, my mission is just to teach this to more women. And by teaching more practitioners these key things, more women can get better health care. Yeah, and it comes from you, right? It comes from you. That's what I'm so excited about. So, um, story of my life for the last three years. Um, gave me an antidepressant. Obviously, did not fix the problem, right? Uh, so common, so common, right? You're not crazy. You're not crazy. Um, yeah, I have my OB appointment Friday. Um, I'm going to bed for my hormone to be checked. So tired always. Yes. Uh-huh. Unable to sleep. Yep. Yeah. And Stephanie, Dutch test is my favorite, which I'll be talking about more in the next couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. 
different um, hormone testing, different ways to look at the body, different ways to think about how your system works and functions. Again, these are these things should be taught to women. These things should be taught, right? We need to understand how our bodies work. We need to understand how true nutrition impacts our, our physiology, right? And the difference it makes for ourselves. And, and I know, so right now we're doing the five day challenge. There's a lot of women that are enjoying that and shifting and changing things. It's incredible. It's so much fun. And realize that even the tiniest you know, step in the right direction is going to shift and change things for you. But your health is cumulative. The more things you do, the better. Not that you have to just cannonball into the deep end. But once you know what's right for your system, once you realize like, holy crap, yeah, huh, that was me. This sounds like me. Or I've been through something like this. There's a lot you can do to change from where you are to where you want to be. Okay, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Please don't hesitate to reach out. I am here as a resource. I am here in case you need something. And again, share this message with other women who need to hear this. Um, and then again, if you want more information on something, if you'd like a video, if you'd like me to do more info on like women I've worked with on, with birth control issues or hysterectomies or, um, you know, different, different things, let me know because I have so many interesting cases that I work with. So many interesting cases. Yes. So I love it. Um, so much fun. All right. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you guys later.